Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo's home of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here. I think you guys are really going to enjoy today's episode. It's got kind of a little bit of everything. We've got some YouTubers getting the brand new Ram TRX. We're gonna be covering Jack Ultramotive after many, many weeks of people asking us to. And then Jeffrey Star guys got into some very interesting antics with Stradman's old Supra out in Bozeman, Montana. Get ready, guys. Here we go. And a big reminder, guys, to follow me on Instagram where our, uh, well, I guess our final uh, V12 clue to my next car lies in waiting on the last post that I put up. Make sure to follow me there. All right, first up, guys, is actually Street Speed 717 Now, if you guys have been following my channel uh, for some time, you'll know that I've been a big fan of his work uh, ever since we started doing automotive news and speculation. One of my favorite videos he's had recently is him taking delivery of his dream car, the Lamborghini Gallardo. Such an awesome moment, guys. If you guys have watched his channel for a long time, you'll know why that car is so special to him so that's been fantastic but traditionally on his channel uh with with some supercars mixed in mclaren corvettes all that kind of jazz the lamborghini Urus. Uh, we've also seen a lot of really fantastic truck content and it appears that the truck content level is about to get raised immensely based on a story that we just saw on instagram just a couple hours ago guys street speed 717 took to instagram his stories are uh, to say my man with the ram hookup possible ram trx income now, if you guys have been paying attention to automotive news uh, over the last couple weeks, you'll know that the Ram TRX is a major competitor to the Ford Raptor, which really hasn't had a, a ton of competition uh, ever since it debuted. And by all accounts, guys, uh, the current iteration of the Ram TRX is going to blow the Ford Raptor out of the water, at least when it comes to those stock versions. Now, if you guys have been watching Engineer and Explained, you'll know that the Ram TRX might not hold the crown for too long. Uh, very interesting rumors coming out about the Ford Raptor on uh, its next engine incarnation over the next year or so. But for now, guys, uh, anyone who gets a Ram TRX Street Speed 717 looking at you is going to have kind of the trophy for, for king off-road truck for some time. Now, the one sort of caveat to this is we won't be able to see the Ram TRX on the road at least for a couple more months, looking for a late 2020 sort of delivery date. From what I've read so far, that could change. You never know. But a big sort of semi-congratulations to Street Speed 717 on, on potentially securing carrying his Ram TRX. I can only imagine the content you're going to make as soon as you get it. All right, next up, guys, uh, and you guys know who you are in the comments below. A lot of you guys have been telling me to start doing news on Jack Ultramotive, and that's what we're doing right now. So congratulations, you wore me down. I was trying to get a little bit more familiar with his channel, and I've been able to watch a couple of his videos, and so we're gonna tell you about one of his latest ones and start to include him in the lineup more and more. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, but generally, uh, my understanding is that Jack Ultramotive started off by doing a number of sort of Forza style video game videos uh, gained a lot of success in that area monster views and then just a little while ago started transferring uh, that success in, in the Forza video game realm over to doing vlogs with his own very interesting car collection taking a look on Instagram we can see his car list it is really fun here guys got an 04 350z an 11 Audi R8 V10 91 R32 Skyline GTR that's a really good one 17 Focus RS so a lot of really fun cars in his fleet uh, and I took a look at his latest video it just really thought it was inspired and different and sort of a melding of two very cool areas, video games and automotive. I thought you guys would really enjoy it. From my understanding, taking his uh, Nissan 350Z and, and sort of transforming it into the Forza version, body kit, all that kind of jazz. So if you guys have not checked out Jack Ultramotive, make sure to go do so. We'll put a link for his channel in the description below. Seems like a fantastic guy. I I'm still learning about him, so apologies if we got any information about him wrong. Uh, but we're going to do our best to follow his channel uh, here going out and sort of uh, bring you guys the best stuff that he's doing on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, guys, our final headline story of the day is a little bit strange, so take it with a grain of salt, put on your tinfoil hats, whatever you have to do. But as you guys know, uh, ever since Stradman sold his uh, very purple, white-wheeled, wide-body Toyota Supra to Jeffree Star, uh, to monster, monster success, huge, huge videos. Make sure to go check out the selling video if you haven't already. We knew that Jeffree Star was going to do something interesting with the car, but the direction that he ended 
ended up heading what was very, very different than most of us thought he was going to go. I initially thought he was gonna keep the purple wrap because it fits so very well in his just absolutely incredible garage full of different pastel colors, his one-off Senna color. We thought he was gonna keep the purple. Uh, that wrap came off within about a week or so. The car getting re-wrapped, sort of a black satin with a red accents color down at Sticker City in California. And the fun didn't stop there, guys. Basically about a week after that, we saw the car take a trip out to Bozeman, Montana, apparently for the ease of getting the car registered out there, which uh, raised some very interesting question marks. And we have a little bit of an update on that today. So if you guys don't know, uh, Bozeman, Montana, not the largest city in the world, has a population of under 50,000 people. So uh, a very extreme car, like a black satin wide body super with red accents driven around the street the way that it should be driven, uh, gets noticed by a number of those residents. Now, surprisingly, we actually have fans of the Life of Polish channel that live in Bozeman or very near so, and were able to give us some very interesting updates on what that car has been up to over the last couple weeks ever since it arrived. So here's some of the interesting tidbits that some of the Bozeman residents, we had more than one contact us about what this car has been up to in the streets of Bozeman. And let me preface this by saying that we can't really confirm that it's Jeffree Star doing any of this stuff. Uh, from my understanding, it sounded like maybe he was gonna give the car to someone living in that area, buy him a house, something like that. So we're not entirely sure who was driving it, but the fact that it was apparently owned by Jeffree Star, we don't know if it changed hands or anything like that, but generally because we saw him register it in Montana, we saw a whole storyline on Instagram about that. We can assume it's him or his friend driving. So this is kind of fantastic, guys. If you had any question about whether or not the car was still being enjoyed in a lot of fun ways, uh, look no further. I've had three separate Bozeman residents uh, message me about hearing the car, uh, doing high revving runs, uh, getting sideways, as they put it, uh, in the rain. Apparently it rains a decent amount in Bozeman, Montana. So the car is definitely being enjoyed. Uh, the, the, the Supra being tuned by VF Engineering has a very distinct sound. So a lot of people in Bozeman are apparently hearing the car ripping up and down the streets. Nothing too illegal from anything that I've heard so far. Now, the other interesting bits here, guys, uh, which make us think that maybe they had a little bit too much fun is that the car apparently was in for some sort of an extended service in Bozeman. So knowing the car didn't have a crazy amount of miles on it already, it's curious to wonder why the car was already in for service. Maybe they had a little bit too much fun in the rain, some sort of traction control issue. We really don't know. We're trying to piece things together the best that we can. So yeah, the car is in for service. Uh, we don't know for how long. We don't exactly know what the reasons are. But the other interesting thing that we found out by two separate residents of Bozeman is that they expect the car is going to be shipped back to LA very soon. Now, if it ends up going back to LA, guys, uh, it'll fall into the same trap that so many uh, different people have done uh, going out to Montana to get their car registered. You don't have to pay tax on the car. There's all that kind of weird stuff. Their entire LLC is set up out in Montana uh, to basically do that job to sort of uh, get away from paying particular taxes on cars. But generally, that doesn't really work for people that have a monster public presence because if the state finds out about the fact that maybe you don't live there or they're not spending a lot of time out in Montana, they can go after you for tax evasion. Just sort of telling you guys that the general reason why people go out to Montana to register their cars. So to quickly summarize kind of uh, all this kind of stuff is that maybe the car is having issues from the people that have messaged me. It's been in for service uh, for some sort of extended period of time out in Bozeman. People have been hearing it ripping up and down the, 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 the tiny streets out there and it apparently is going to be coming back to LA uh, very, very soon. So in a nutshell, guys, the car is definitely being enjoyed, uh, driven in, in a lot of really fun ways, and it probably won't stay in Bozeman, Montana from everything that we're hearing. Now, I want to end this segment by asking you guys a very interesting question. It has to do with the three other cars that Stradman sold uh, during that big sell-off period. The C8, the Focus, and the 4 GT are all sort of currently being vlogged about in different ways, and all of them have had interesting updates. Would you guys like to hear about those cars? And of those cars, which one do you care about the most? Some are vlogging more than others. Uh, some are not really vlogging much at all. I want to know what you guys think and if you want to hear current updates on cars that were sort of Stradman yesteryear. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, just a fantastic video from Daily Driven Exotics. You got to go watch the whole thing, guys. It's going to be one of their better builds they've ever done. Uh, but essentially, they revealed their 720 GTR twin turbo McLaren hypercar build, whatever they're calling it right now. My goodness, is this thing going to break the internet? Very similar to the stuff that they were starting to do with the twin turbo tire slayer. Uh, this build is huge, big combination with Vorsteiner. Very excited to see what this car is going to look like. Obviously, I'm a big Vorsteiner fan. I have their crazy wing on the back of my McLaren. If you haven't seen that already, make sure to go watch our full car tour from a couple days ago. But man,
man, just an awesome, awesome video, guys. Uh, this is DDE pushing the boundaries. As you guys know, yesterday we talked about maybe an FA GT3 build sometime in the near future. But for now, we have the incredible 720S GTR build. The progress they're making so far is just fantastic. I'm super excited to see everything come together. Next up, guys, another one of my favorite channels out from the Utah crew is Summit Life. They bought a brand new daily and had a little bit of fun with their audience by sort of teasing what that car was going to be for a good half of their vlog. Love their new car, guys. And if you pay attention throughout the entire video, you might see something that gets your imagination churning a little bit about why a particular thing might have happened near the end of their vlog. I don't want to say too much more, but go watch their entire video. The Summit Life crew is a fantastic couple with awesome content about wrapping cars and maintaining them. They have their own awesome cars too. Make sure to go subscribe to them if you haven't already, especially if you love the Stradman Burlacker combo. Summit Life is right up in there. And I've been talking about it forever, guys. Shmi is just putting out some of the best content in the history of his channel. Uh, you gotta go watch his latest video, taking his beautiful purple McLaren 675 LT out on the Nurburgring. My goodness, it's just awesome to see him get so comfortable with driving at crazy speeds. Uh, obviously, Shmi's a very, very good driver, probably better than most of you guys would know if you don't watch his channel on a day-to-day -day basis. Like we talked about over the last couple years, Shmi is one of the hardest working people in automotive YouTube, uh, regularly putting up a video a day, hasn't missed more than like a three-day period in 10 years. Talk about dedication to the automotive craft. I can't say enough positive stuff about him. Awesome guy, we chat every once in a while. Very, very cool dude. Go check out his channel, go check out his latest video. You're missing out if you're not following him. And it's the battle of the incredible electric cars, guys, on CarWow this time. Between the Tesla Model S in Cheetah stance versus the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Now, I think a lot of you think you understand how this race is going to go. Uh, really, really fantastic launches in, in the number of races that they did. Yeah, I think you're really going to enjoy it, guys. And this is this is the future of what supercars is going to be. You know, long gone are sort of the days of naturally aspirated V12s, at least for most people, not myself included. But uh, electric cars, hybrids, all that kind of stuff is going to be the future of what cars are. You'll be able to watch the standing quarter mile for both of these cars and get an understanding of that very, very quickly. CarWow quickly becoming one of my favorite channels in automotive YouTube. Go check them out. You'll love their latest video. And I told you guys we'd be covering Normal Guy's supercar because he's doing the Ferrari 599 manual conversion build. And they just got underway on that over the last couple episodes, today included. I'm actually going to be hopefully seeing him this Sunday as he sort of comes through Colorado on one of the rallies that he's on. So I'm really pumped about that. Have never actually met him in person. We've chatted a couple times over Instagram. Really, really great guy. It has some really unique content in doing the manual conversion on this incredible Ferrari 599. Go check out his video, guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. All right, guys, so I have kind of a homework assignment, or well, basically just right now. Uh, I need you guys to help me find new craters to cover in automotive YouTube. I'd like to start to try to feature smaller craters under 100,000. We try to do this every once in a while. Who should we be focusing on who's sort of a newer crater that needs some help get, kind of getting boosted up? Who should we be covering next? Let me know in the comments below uh, who's a great channel that we don't know about that has awesome vlogs or great cinematography. Give me a channel and a reason in the comments below and I'll do my best to cover them. It's hard to get through all of your guys' comments all the time, but I'll absolutely do my best. So thank you guys very much for following today's video. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out of breath. Bye.